Hey Tenno, this is Mako, and we're going to discuss critical and status today. So this is a tutorial video, kind of giving you a rundown of the basics of this. Now, a critical weapon is a weapon that deals a heavy amount of damage based on a critical multiplier, but it relies on chance, so to speak. So you have a chance to deal amplified damage, which is rather useful if you amp up that to be 100% or more. If you go above 100%, you have a chance to get a critical of a critical, which is usually displayed as a red color in the game. Don't know about colorblind variation of this, but the standard coloring for most is yellow for critical and red to darker variations of that red, depending on how high of a multiple critical you got, which is a critical of a critical of a critical. Now, criticals are widely used in this game because you can amplify your damage to take down some big enemies like these, 100 pluses. Anything usually 100 plus, such as that, is a red crit, can easily be wiped out. So, you can see where it's useful. Now, where does critical run into problems? By itself, critical is really good against flesh types, to even shielded enemies, such as machines, corpus, infested, even some grenier to a point. Now, where this kind of runs into problems where the enemies have a high amount of armor, so you have to wonder how you're going to take care of that. The problem with the armor is the armor reduces the damage and you kind of just sitting there trying to take out that enemy. Now you could always just grab a tonk or any of these other weapons, but for just general principles we're just going to talk about the basics of criticals themselves. Criticals by themselves are not that useful in my opinion. If you're just running a pure crit and with straight damage you run the risk of going against an enemy type that you're not going to be very effective against and that reduces your efficiency and effectiveness in combat. Such as with this. This is a heavily armored enemy. As you can see I got a red critical but it's just a tick. It, my damage is no different than what I was just doing against that other enemy but the armor variation on this enemy type makes it a damage sponge for lack of a better word. You're gonna sit here and just grind away at this enemy and not be very effective. Now, while well, in under a few seconds I'm almost halfway through the enemy's HP, it's still more work than you really should be putting out. You want to deal with the enemy very effectively and very quickly to a point that you're not in danger yourself. If you yourself are in danger at a point in combat, I think you're doing something wrong. Just my personal preference of combat. I don't like being to a point where I'm going to get killed or I've put myself into such a dangerous position that I'm gonna die. I want to have fun and enjoy taking out the enemy, maybe with some difficulty, but there should be a point where I know at any point I should be able to take control or rest control of the situation. So this is where status in themselves come to play. You can use status combos such as this which is corrosive and blast together with the basic implementation of the Mutilus Senros. As you can see, in a few seconds I've already burned away this enemy's armor. It's rather effective, it's rather quick, and it's cc them to where it and maybe a bunch of other enemies that were near it are no longer a threat to my allies or myself. So even without any energy, such as, you know, running out of it doing to be invisible all the time, if I didn't have enough efficiency, I could still sit there and take out the enemy without having fear of damage. So that's where status comes into play. You can use radiation to confuse enemies make them attack each other, viral which cuts enemies HP in half, or cuts it down I should say, and then they're just straight such as ice, heat, shock, and toxic. Each of those can be implemented against enemy types. The more effective I would say is corrosive because you can use the other types to your advantage in other situations but combining a critical with a corrosive and a blast, maybe even just corrosive and heat, can be pretty effective at taking out targets. Again, as you can see, I'm just I'm not even fully charging the arrow up, I'm just lightly charging up just to burn away the armor. Now I'll pull out my critical weapon, which is called the Spear Prime, which just does high puncture damage. And as you can see, it's just shredding this enemy rather quickly. I don't even have to put very much effort into it, it doesn't take much time, and it's a very effective combo. Now, I normally use the Rotka Senros on this myself, but here's the build of the Mutal Senros. I have two slots free, and you could further amp up this weapon's damage by doing Point Strike and Argon Scope, or even Point Strike, which is your critical, and then amping up with Vital Sense. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped, Tenno.